Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you my favorite new Sublime Text plugin, and this is called Color Highlighter. Color Highlighter is going to make your life a lot easier in some subtle ways that are going to have a big difference in how you look at your CSS. So check it out. I'm going to show you Color Highlighter right now. So now this is going to be a quick one because the package we're looking for requires basically no configuration and handles a lot of great stuff for us involving uh, how we visually look at our code. So you might be looking at your CSS and you'll see a hex value and this value just sort of looks like it just no, it's just numbers, and maybe you have some of them memorized. I mean, I have, uh, you know, the standard ones sort of just in your brain because you use them all the time. But to be honest, I have no idea what these colors are just by glancing at them. Uh, so along comes a really super incredible package for Sublime Text called color highlighter. So to get this, we just have to use our package manager, package control, and type in. Um, color and there's quite a bit of color, color coder, color highlighter, color picker. Um, of course, like color picker is going to bring in like what you'd expect a color picker, but what we're looking for is color highlighter. And it might not seem like this is going to be super useful at first, but color highlighter, what it does is it underlines all of your hex values with the actual color that the value is. And better than that, when you click on it, it highlights your hex value in that color. You'll notice uh, that it doesn't work when I highlight the whole bit of text, but when you click on the uh, hex value or the color itself, it shows you the color of all of these hex values. And it even shows you, obviously, the text values here. So that's pretty great. But you might be thinking, well, I use SAS and um, and that doesn't necessarily help me out a ton. Well, let's see what happens when we apply this to a SAS variable. So let's go ahead. I'm going to copy this color and I'm going to make this color into a variable. That's just going to be accent and accent is going to be equal to this value. You'll notice that after I save my file, not only is the hex value underlined in our color, but so is the variable accent. Accent is now registered as having this color. So when we go ahead and use accent down here, you'll notice that the color highlighting once saved is applied throughout. So anytime we use accent, it's going to be getting the right color of blue. Now, if we were to change this to something different, like let's just do 00, um, FF00, which is this ugly green, you can see instantly once we save the file, everywhere in our document, accent is now underlined green. So you, if you're changing your variables in SAS or anything like that, you can now see exactly what all of these colors are with Color Highlighter. It's super cool. And uh, honestly, since installing it, I don't know what I've done without it. So I thought I'd pass it along to everyone who watches Level Up Tuts. Color Highlighter is awesome. So check it out, grab it with your package control and get using Color Highlighter. You can now subscribe to Level Up Pro to get premium features out of Level Up Tuts for $8.99 a month or $95 a year. And this comes with downloadable videos. You get an ad-free experience on Level Up Tuts and you get to feel good about supporting Level Up Tuts. Now we're also filling the site in with code examples, but that's taking a little bit of time, so they're not all there yet. So keep checking back and we'll have more and more code examples available for pro users. So check it out. If you have gotten a lot out of Level Up Tuts, give back and help Level Up Tuts uh, grow and just keep making more content by subscribing to Level Up Pro. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook or pretty much anywhere. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.